Hello and welcome to Inside Earthster, our series of short monthly videos in which we keep you up to date on the progress of our product and share with you how we're transforming the environmental footprint of products and services. Now, those of you who were with us on the last video, you'll notice a lot of changes in the user interface, and that's mostly thanks to our pilot partners. They are using the product, they are using Earthster to model their own products and giving us feedback so that we can make sure that Earthster fits the way that they model the environmental footprint of their own products. So it fits the way they do it in practice. Uh, and from the last video, you'll, you'll remember, or you can check it out, we created a product, we modeled the watch, and we wrote the product category, and it immediately loaded average data for that watch. So this is what I have right now. I haven't played too much with it, uh, but I'm going to use the same one to show you the new feature that, uh, that we've been working on. So I'll go to the use phase because my attention gets drawn to there because most of the impact is there. Uh, what, we've, uh, what we've done now is we've enabled you to create custom processes. In many tools, you, you can do that by creating elements, like creating mini LCAs that you connect then. Uh, but one feedback that we often get is that people don't get to see the big picture that easily. Uh, we we make sure, we, we want to keep your product at the center of you. So your cycle is that at the center the whole time, but we still want to let you model different complicated product structures, etc. So we let you add those custom processes from right inside this view. So the way you do that is you go to add process the same as the same as when you would add um, uh, you would add a process from the database but instead of searching for that you click on create a custom process and it immediately creates it and let's say for the sake of this example that I'm going to model I'm in the use phase so I'm going to model the cleaning of that watch so it's a high-end watch and it needs some cleaning and polishing so I'll I'll write the cleaning and one thing that you you'll notice as well is that we have here a description area so you can, um, you can document there different decisions, different assumptions, data sources, where does the value there come from, um, your thinking process, anything. And all that information will end up in your final report. So when you share your LCA, it will be visible and the person will be able to interpret it. Uh, and you can add basically any amount, uh, so any, function, any functional unit for that specific process. So what is the output of that process? In this case, I'm going to say, for example, 40 years of use. And uh, and then I save it, and you don't see anything on the left because it doesn't have any environmental impact, so it doesn't have a, an effect yet. But now we're going to start adding things inside that process, inputs to that process, so that we can start seeing it. Let's put, for example, soap. And uh, one thing that you'll notice as well, one of the new features, is that you can click on the info button here, uh, and uh, you can see details of that particular process. So you can you can dig through and, and figure out what you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use input-output data. And I'm going to put this value uh, based on... We were modeling one, uh, $1 of watch, so I, I have to have those uh, that proportionally in mind. And you see that the cleaning has appeared on the left side, so it's big enough that it shows. Uh, and I'm going to add, for example, also some water. Uh, and I'll, I'll pick also input output. This one looks like a good one. And I'll put this amount. And now you see that I have a small process, so two inputs and, uh, and one output. And the output gets consumed out of the use space. So if I go back, I have here the cleaning process and I have here how many years it's being consumed. If I go in there, I can edit it. So this is, these are custom processes and you can use them to model complex products. So you, you can go as many layers deep as you, as, you, as you want, depending on how complex your product is. And, uh, and you can make sure that you're focusing only on the part that matters at a given time. Uh, this is the, the, these are the major features that we've been working on. We've also been working behind the scenes on uncertainty. And uh, what you will see on the next video is definitely that uncertainty so that you can judge what data is better and worse. And the other major thing that we have on store for the next month is comparisons. That is one of the most common use cases of a, of a life cycle assessment or environmental footprints. You want to compare two products and they're not always compared, comparable product to products. So sometimes you need to scale one up or down based on some parameters, what's called a functional unit. In LCA, that's normally a very complex topic or relatively complex. 
Uh, so we're working very hard on making that much simpler to do, helping in the decision process and then helping on the, on the decision when you are comparing those so that you're comparing apples to apples. So that's, that's all for this, uh, this month's short video. And uh, as usual, I, I, uh, I'll be very happy to read comments from you, get, get questions, get requests, get suggestions. So you can contact us. You can leave a comment down below if you're watching this on YouTube, or you can contact us in any of the social media channels that you'll find on earthster.org. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you latest in one month. Thank you very much.